Hi everyone, this is Momentary Flex. Welcome back to my Minimalist Factory with Bob's Mods. Um, last episode we got refining going, got some chemical production, chlorine, hydrogen. And uh, this episode we're just going to continue on and uh, work our way towards getting some uh, blue science and robots is our ultimate goal. And once we get those, then things are going to take off even more. Uh, <coughs> get positive spin cycle positive feedback loop that's what I'm thinking okay where was I all right we got hydrogen and chlorine and with these two we want to make hydrogen chloride and why do we want hydrogen chloride is because hydrogen chloride is used to make all kinds of things um, chief among them for us right now is this ferric chloride solution which is needed to make the better circuit boards this next step here um, yeah there they are the circuit boards they need ferric chloride solution um, <clears throat> as I recall also from the previous episode that I wanted to route heavy oil to make synthetic wood and synthetic resin so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that first because our tree production facility um, didn't have enough of a feedback for whatever reason <clears throat> to keep itself going. I think what the problem was is it doesn't have enough of these and I'm pulling I'm pulling out too fast for it to um, for this assembler to make more seedlings fast enough so while this is busy making seedlings wood is going by and it's being collected and sent out so over time it's been slowly uh, strangled for for wood and it's run out I, I'm pretty sure that's what's wrong but you know I don't want this anyway um, and it's served its purpose to this point so what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace it and we're gonna have an outlet for our, our heavy oil which is something that I'm always looking for ways to get rid of anyway. So this is perfect. So we're going to start uh, routing this up. Um, I'm going to send it across the bus here. And I think along this plane should be good. I need to leave one space to turn. So that'll work. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked. I didn't, you know, I mentioned it before. I, I didn't realize I could make resin with this too. And I, I, in my previous playthrough, I had to keep those uh, greenhouses around for the entire game because I needed a, a infinite supply of wood. But now that I don't need wood anymore, well, what the heck? Although this does great, uh, put greater importance on on oil, but I think that's okay. So let's make a little underground right here so we can have a place for our. Is for our pipe to turn up. And I think we can, we're not going to need wood anymore. Switch those over. I'm gonna actually upgrade this one while we're here. Switch those over to synthetics. There we go. Sweet. Or actually, this one's still using wood. I wonder. Did I, did I miss something? This is all like gun stuff for later. No, I should be able to make synthetic wood. So what's the deal? Is it in a chem plant or something? 
Yeah, okay. It's not an assembler anymore, it's a chemical plant. So we'll, we need to shift this over one. I think that's maxed out actually. Yeah, that's maxed out, that no, no biggie. Synthetic wood, sweet. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I'm making a mistake here. This is making synthetic. Am I too far away? What's the problem here? Those. I think that this is. Let me check here. Yeah, okay, that's what that's what's wrong. It's it's uh, not close enough. <laughs> All right, let's make these fast inserters while we're at it. Okay, so we got one on the outside, one on the inside. Got these wooden boards, we don't need them anymore. Fix that. Make it synthetic wood. Now we're working. There we go. Sweet, no more wood. And now we need to do the same thing for resin. So I guess this needs to also be a. Uh, Chem factory, chem plant. Yep. Is it, you know, actually, since we can move that over one, it's going to work out even better. It's going to line up for us. I'll leave one space. Okay, don't need wood. And I guess we just need an output here. Which oh, we're outputting already. Do we need to switch these to use synthetic resin? Oh, I think resin is resin, right? Okay. Yeah, it's, it's working. It's working. Sweet. I'm very excited. I'm very excited. I can tear down that whole wood producing thing. Get rid of this whole line. That makes me very happy. Um, hmm. I do need it for... Okay. Uh, I can make a box for this. We're going to get electric soon. Good place for all that wood. I'm going to have more momentarily. This is so cool. I'm so happy about this. I mean, I like the greenhouses. I think it's cool. But if I don't have to maintain it, it works right into my uh, minimalism campaign. Get rid of what you don't need. Cut the slack. It's, it's like a, a lot of area and resources we don't need to worry about. This whole thing. I leave that water um, coming down just in case I need it for something else. <laughs> I hope I'm not disassembling this only to find out that I need it for something else. But I'm pretty sure I don't. Uh, this area here where the greenhouses are is going to be a good area too for just building um, random items that I need. Like I'm thinking maybe this is where I'm going to build inserters that are going to be for blue science. Uh, that could be sent right up over here. That'd, that'd work out great. Okay. 
So now that we got that working, got our double checking, making sure everything's going. Let's see. Get some more wood. And I think I'm gonna put it up here because this this can need wood more. Any seedlings gotta go. Those greenhouses can go. I'll get rid of them in a minute. <coughs> Or next time I go to shoot a box full of supplies I don't need anymore, they're gone. Okay, so now the next thing we need is hydrogen chloride. And uh, hydrogen chloride is used to make a ton of stuff, so we need a fair amount of it. And it's going to be part of our little uh, chemical bus. So, got the hydrogen is along this line which is one of the ingredients that we need for uh, hydrogen chloride so I just to line it up here are these lined up line up with those electrolyzers and then we can just we can bring the chlorine around uh, I have a I have some notes off on my uh, second monitor here I'm looking at Chlorine is used only in two things, plastic and uh, gold plates. We don't have gold yet, uh, and yeah, I, I don't see putting it over here. Well, gold plates could go here, perhaps. They're not a high capacity thing, so I could probably, yeah, my research has stopped. So we'll go on flight. It'll make me feel like I'm on my way to robots. Uh, I, I, I'm only going to need one gold producer. Um, so I'm going to, I think if I just leave something there. Gold. Made in metal mixing furnace. Okay. Uh, so if I leave one there as a note to myself. Metal? Is this is this metal mixing? Let me double check that gold. Oh no! Yeah, it goes in a chemical furnace. My bad. Chemical furnace, gold ore, chlorine. That's it. Okay, so we'll we'll put that there. When I do eventually find gold, somewhere on the map. Don't even see any yet. Um, it'll come here. Robots will bring it in. It'll get processed. It'll be hooked up to the chlorine. And that's all we need. So I'm going to bring the chlorine up and around. Leave a couple spaces for hydrogen. to get some of those uh like like to get some of those like a couple of electric engines too but i can work on that soon uh, i'll switch these on hydrogen chloride okay so the chlorine comes into the top from the side <coughs> since they're all nice and lined up great I think if we just put power we're gonna have hydrogen chloride so let's line up a let's see I'm already ending them this way so if we line up here I 
I think that'll be okay. I don't think it's going to interfere because if we run run things out and around this way, it's not going to. You need one space in between because if you have two straight pipes next to each other, they connect, and then you have to spend half an hour trying to pump all the wrong liquid out of those pipes, or else just pulling up entirely is probably your best bet. All right, so here is our outputs. Then we have underground. We do our tank. We need to connect here. We got chlorine everywhere. It's pumping through. Now we need power. And let's get a big pole over here. We need to make a couple more big poles for next time. Okay. So this just needs fuel, but it I'm just gonna dump something in there so it doesn't blink. Uh, we'll call it gold. Do I have any fuel? I wonder if you can burn seedlings out of the oh my gosh, you can. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ah, I had no idea you could I wonder if there's stats for how many kilojoules of power they have for a seedling. <laughs> That's awesome. 200 joules of fuel value. And how much is wood? Uh, for fuel value? Doesn't. Uh, it doesn't say. Damn. Four mega joules. <laughs> so 200 joules per seedling. That's that's minuscule compared to even wood which is pretty bad compared to say coal or solid fuel but I guess they do burn and it would make sense that they would I'm learning something new every time all right so now we have our output we've got hydrogen chloride uh, something's backed up here so we're not really our system is not fully functional yet uh, I need to vent the sulfur dioxide or put it to use Crude oil is filled, red oil partially, petroleum gas also getting there. Uh, but this is going to be being put to use right here. So let's pipe that over. quiet on you sorry about that okay so I'm trying to think if I want the chlorine coming in on the straight line or the petroleum I think the petroleum since it's back here a ways can come down like so yeah come in the back way Chlorine will come in up here. Damn, one away. But there's no chlorine to come through here right now. So for a moment. If I put this vent on, it's going to clear out some space in this tank, and now all of my refineries are firing because the system is no longer clogged, and that's why I need to get those pumps as soon as I can, uh, just so that things can keep moving. Um, hmm. Robot stuff or railway stuff, or just necessary stuff? Uh, Fertilizer is not going to be needed. Modules. You know, I want to get on modules as soon as I can, but I need... Yeah. They can wait. Lithium percolate can wait. Stack inserters. That's all blue science. Invar. So Invar, we don't have nickel production yet. Nickel production needs 
I believe hydrogen chloride or some sort of chemical. Oh, it's sulfur dioxide. It makes sulfur dioxide. But we, we're not really mining it anyway. Let's get robotics going. I want robots. I want them as soon as possible. Okay. So our plastic here, I believe if we just put some outputs on here, should be working. Um, now that we have some chlorine, or hopefully we have some chlorine, do we? Nothing yet. Uh, why not? Salt. Salt should be, no, oh, we got salt. Water. I think we're just backed up. Or am I missing something here? Got water, we've got salt going in. Or am I too far away? Is this... No? That's the right spacing. We've made some chlorine. Is the output blocked for hydrogen, maybe? No. We've used it all. I am confused. This is sort of reverse engineering here. That's down to 1.9k, so it's no longer full. Uh, this one's not full yet. Refineries are going. What am I missing? Salt and water. Did they just get stuck for whatever reason? Let's try this. Oh, 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 oh. I know what's wrong. Totally forgot about this. They output this junk. What is it? It's sodium hydroxide. Ah, damn it. Ah, crap. Okay. Well, in that case, what we have to do here is we have to back this water pipe up. I can't output on this side because there's too many pipes. Um, so I need to move this water pipe over one, and, oh boy, I thought that, I just thought that was salt, I guess not. So we'll just back this up one, then we'll have another belt for those. And I will have to dispose of them until I get something going that actually needs them. Well, that took me a minute. I was kind of getting a little worried there. <laughs> All right. Could not figure out what was wrong. Those icons are so similar. Okay, we're good there. Just gotta connect on over. There we go. Okay, construction. Yes. Now we need an output belt. Brings those up. And then it's going to make a whole bunch of that stuff. Oops. Alright. 
So we'll do our typical both sides of the belt deal here. We'll have this one going to the outside, this one going to the outside, and then this one going to the inside. And oops, God damn it. That's the I oh, excuse me, I got a hiccup there. So they do need to be long handed. That's what the, the problem is there. So near side, near side, far side, far side. Okay. And these boxes are going to fill up. I'm just going to have to destroy them, basically, until I, I think they're used to make this uh, sodium hydroxide is used in making aluminum and maybe some other stuff. But for a while, it's just going to stockpile. I think that these, uh, I would use steel chests just because they have more room, but since I'm destroying them, it takes less ammo and, they, you know, wood is plentiful. So I'll just use wood, wood boxes for now. Okay, there we go. Now we're making plastic, I assume. So let's put on some outputs here. Um, we're gonna have the outside and the inside. And there we go, plastic. Excellent. What are we missing here? I think we're just low on chlorine. I think it's just gonna be taken out by this first this first one until until it gets backed up like now and then this one yeah there we go okay let's bring this up plastic I think that's one more here would be good enough let's make a steel chest for this make a couple actually for use general use I forget to turn that off, but at least I remember to check. Okay. Oh yeah, we want to finish concrete. Got to make things look pretty. Okay, good, good deal. Plastic. So once we have plastic, now we're gonna need um, ferric oxide so that we can make circuit boards. I'm assuming it's sort of, I don't know much about making circuit boards, but um, they have that lithography where I think they use that as a solution to um, screen print the boards, I'm imagining. I, I could be completely off base. If you know, leave a message in the comments. Um, in fact, this is uh, the time where I need to call an episode. So remember, if you like it, really be appreciated if you could uh, give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you want to continue on the series, please uh, subscribe. And uh, and that would mean a lot to me because I only have, you know, my subscribers so far, just, you know, a couple of friends and, and whatnot. Uh, so if you would subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, and also, you know, feel free to leave comments if you have any ideas or suggestions for what I'm doing here. Um, that would be appreciated as well. All right. Thanks a lot. See you next time.